हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर वील अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट ए ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ ए मैकेनिकल सिस्टम द क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ द गिवन मैकेनिकल सिस्टम सो दिस इज द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम विच दे हैव गिवन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम we can define the transfer function as the ratio of laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input if we take the ratio of laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input we'll get the transfer function now in this given mechanical system the input is f of t and output is x of t to find the transfer function of a given mechanical system there are four important steps which you need to follow first step is to write the mechanical network so they will give the mechanical system for that we need to write the mechanical network second step is to write the differential equations of the mechanical network so this concept we understood in lecture number 136 you can watch that video to understand how to write the differential equations of a given translational mechanical system third step is to take the laplace transform of the differential equations and then from that laplace transform equations we can find the ratio of laplace transform of output divided by the laplace transform of input that will be the fourth step now before writing the transfer function we need to know whether the given mechanical system is the translational system or a rotational system by observing this system we can understand that the given system is a translational system because there are no rotational elements here so whatever elements it is written in this system are the elements of translational system now let us follow this step and let us write the mechanical network to a given mechanical system to write the mechanical network we will identify input as f of t and output is x of t so here f of t is the applied force and x of t is the displacement so we'll go with the node analysis to write the mechanical network in node analysis we'll consider the displacement as a node we'll take x of t as a node we'll write that one and we'll write the reference so we have considered the displacement as a node and we have written the reference line so number of nodes will be equal to number of displacements so if there are two displacement which is given in the mechanical system at that case you can write two nodes since there is only one displacement is given here that's why we are taking only one node let us consider this f of t which is the applied force due to this applied force we are getting this displacement we'll write that f of t f of t now due to this applied force there is opposing force by different mechanical network there will be opposing force from the mass we'll write that one we'll write mass there will be opposing force by the spring and also there will be opposing force by this dash pot which is b now f of t is the applied force the arrow mark is written in this direction so we'll write an arrow mark like this towards the node and this is the applied force and the opposing force by each element will be in the opposite direction that's why we'll write arrow mark in the opposite direction away from the node if you write this arrow mark that will help us in writing the differential equations now the second step is to write the differential equations of the mechanical network so the applied force will be equal to addition of all the opposing force so we can write f of t is equal to opposing force by mass plus opposing force by the spring plus opposing force by the dash pot 
for this we will write the differential equations f of t will be equal to m d square by dt square x of t this is the differential equation for mass plus k x of t this is the differential equation for spring plus b d by dt x of t this is the differential equation for dash pot now let us follow the third step let us take the laplace transform of the above differential equation to write the laplace transform always remember wherever there is f of t you replace it by f of s wherever there is x of t you replace it by capital x of s for d square by dt square you replace it by s square for d by dt you replace it by s yes. using this concept we can write f of t as f of s which can be written as m you write as it is d square by dt square you write it as s square x of t you write it as x of s plus k x of s plus b it is d by dt you can replace that by s x of t x of s so this is the laplace transform of the above the differential equation the above laplace transform can be written as f of s is equal to let us take x of s as common x of s into m s square plus k plus b s now we need to find the transfer function transfer function is the ratio of laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input so we can write the ratio x of s divided by f of s is equal to 1 divided by m s square plus k plus b s this is the transfer function of the given mechanical system which is your step number 4 hope you have understood this concept thank you